The IDF demolished the West Bank family home of terrorist Khalil Jabarin on Friday, just over four months since he stabbed to death Israel advocate and father of four, Ari Fold. Demolition forces were met with stone throwers in Jabrin's hometown of Yata near Hebron on the day of the demolition, but crowd dispersal methods were employed and there were no reported casualties. Now, the third-story apartment was mapped for demolition the day after the attack took place, but the Jabrin's family appealed twice. And the second appeal was rejected Thursday, however, and Supreme Court President Esther Chayut ordered an end to the delay in action. The IDF has already released video of the demolition that was carried out first thing Friday morning. Fold was stabbed to death while speaking on his cell phone outside a supermarket in the Gush Etzion block on September 16, 2018. Even after being stabbed multiple times in the back and neck, however, Fold managed to chase the terrorist and shoot him, potentially saving the life of a nearby shop worker who Jabarin had started to run towards. Fold was an Israeli activist and an advocate who regularly contributed to many organizations as well as to ILTV, and he was posthumously awarded the Israel Police's Medal of Distinction. Meanwhile, the IDF has also now notified the family of Asem and Salih Barghouti that their home is slated for demolition on Sunday. The brothers are charged with carrying out two shooting attacks in Ofra and Givat Asaf and planning a third. Salih was shot dead by Israeli security forces during attempts to capture him in December, though, and Asem was finally arrested earlier in January. But their attacks left an emergency-born infant and two soldiers, Sergeant Yosef Cohen and Staff Sergeant Yovel Mor Yosef, dead, and at least nine others were wounded.